Hey family, welcome back to Jack's Making It Home. We are a lifestyle channel that produces videos based upon home improvement, cooking, and also traveling. If you guys are following us, then you should know by now that Shannon and I had our first child in July of 2021. Sky Yvonne was born on July the 9th and she has brought so much joy into our lives. We'll make a separate video about that birthing experience because it is a journey within itself, trust us. But um, this is actually the first video I believe that we've recorded since Sky's birth, uh, so you may hear some new background noises, but at this point, Sky is transitioning into sleeping in her own crib. We'll make another video about that. We did like a vlog type style recording because we actually built this crib from scratch. So be on the lookout for that. But um, with her transitioning into sleeping in her crib, we decided to go away from uh, utilizing solely the audio monitor and installing our video monitor. We got the wall mounted version of the Nanit Pro and I'm extremely extremely excited about this. Um, you have three options when it comes with the Nanit Pro. Uh, you can do with the wall mount, the floor stand, or the multi-stand. Again, we went with the wall mounted version. Let's go ahead and jump into this unboxing, see what's included, and then we'll get into the installation. All right, so getting into this unboxing right here on the cover, it just says Nanit Pro HD nursery camera with sleep tracking and breathing, motion monitoring, peace of mind, peaceful sleep, precious memories. Overhead view with crystal clear 1080p HD video, sleep tracking and guidance, sound and motion alerts, breathing motion, and it said it's, it includes one small breathing band. On the side, it includes some things that are in the box, which we're gonna get into. On the back here, it says the baby monitor that captures every moment. Your little one won't be a baby forever, but their memories are timeless with your Nanit app. And with personalized sleep tracking and breathing motion monitoring, you'll feel more confident leaving them in their crib for the night. Never miss the moment and it gives some other things that are included. So sliding the box out, pulling this off. Very seamless, very clean. I love clean packaging. As soon as you remove the top, you have the Nanit Pro 1080p camera right on top. Removing the top layer here, we have a the wall mount itself right here. This is what actually attaches to the wall. Right here is the breathing band again. This is a size small. So uh, we'll talk about this a little later, but if we want to utilize this, we're actually going to have to purchase an, another one with Sky's current size, I believe. This box says the mounting kit and power adapter. So inside of this, they give you a measuring tape, a mount that has a level that's going to go for that wall mount, various screws and anchors, 3M tape, um, some court management brackets here. And that looks to be it, nope, maybe. Ah, the plug itself. So right here is just the, uh, the actual power adapter. Some nice instructions, the wall mount user guide. It's probably gonna walk you through everything that you're gonna need. This is all of the management to hide your cables on the wall, so it's a nice seamless design. And that is the original wall mount that the camera will attach to. So now that we have it all unboxed, let's go ahead and begin our installation of the Nanit Pro. So we've gotten through the unboxing. Um, in the instructions, the first step says to download the Nanit app, which I went ahead and already did. And it says set up your account, which I've already done as well. Um, after that, it says follow the in-app instructions and pair your Nanit camera. So that's gonna be the next step is to uh, pair the camera. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on set up your Nanit. Uh, it gives you the options of the Nanit Pro, Nanit Plus, or the regular Nanit. Like we said, we got the Nanit Pro, so we'll click on that. And then it says start your Nanit Insight service. Your Nanit Insight service will begin when you pair your camera. If you do not wish to begin your service now, please wait to pair your camera. So when you purchase your Nanit Pro, you do get one year of insights for free. Um, that is something that's gonna be really beneficial for you guys. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about it once we get the installation done. But we're gonna go ahead and pair now because we're ready to get started. And then it gives you the options of the floor stand, the wall mount, or the multi-stand. So like we mentioned, we went with the wall mount, so we'll select that. 
And it says, before you begin setting up your Nanit camera, connect your phone to the Wi-Fi network you want Nanit to connect to. Nanit works on both 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz networks. And it says the optimal location for your router is on the same floor as your Nanit, less than 20 feet away. So obviously this is a Wi-Fi uh, compatible system. It works off of Wi-Fi. So they're saying basically keep your router really close um, and hopefully uh, lessen those hiccups that are bound to happen with any Wi-Fi connected device. So we're gonna go ahead and click next. Allow Bluetooth, we're gonna allow that. Allow location, I'll allow while using the app. And then it says, place the wall mount on a flat surface in an upright position and attach the Nanit camera. Plug the adapter into an electrical outlet. The status light on the camera will flash. We always recommend you guys to go ahead and follow the directions for whatever device or item that you've purchased. Um, the directions that Nanit provides seems to be very, very clear and detailed uh, with video. So I think it's gonna be really, really easy to follow. But if you guys just wanna go along with us, um, we don't recommend you guys necessarily follow us. Again, just follow the directions that Nanit provides. But if you just wanna follow us for enjoyment or just for further education, let's go ahead and complete this installation. So we got the Nanit plugged into the wall. We got our blue status light. So we're gonna hit next on the app. It's saying to initiate pairing, press the Wi-Fi button on the back of your camera once. The status light will begin to flash. So ours is flashing, so we're gonna say next. It says please wait while the Nanit is pairing. It's now asking for the password to um, our Wi-Fi. And now it's setting up the network, so we're just gonna give that a second. And it says it would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. And at this point, the camera is functioning, as you can see. And it says then it works best when the signal strength icon in the top left shows three bars, which we do have. So we're going to click camera works okay. Next it says, setting up your Nanit is simple. Watch the video above or follow along for step-by-step -step instructions. So I'm going to follow along for step-by-step -step instructions. It says, unplug the adapter and remove the Nanit from the wall mount for easier installation. Removing the, uh, the camera from the wall mount was pretty simple, you just literally pull it. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the next step. It says use the mounting template to mark the center of the crib on the wall. Remove crib and fold the hatched area of the template. Mark the anchor hole next to the arrow. So let's go ahead and measure the center of our crib on the wall. So I used a piece of tape to hold the tape measure that was provided that was definitely beneficial and something that I would recommend. Um, it was definitely helpful for me because I was working by myself. Um, I did use a speed square as you saw to transfer my mark to the wall that is not necessary, just made my life a little easier. And then of course we followed the rest of the steps to get our final mark on the anchor. So we're gonna hit next on our screen. It's now saying drill a hole at that mark so we're drilling a 3 16 inch hole in the mark spot and then we'll use the anchor and screw to hang the bracket but don't insert the screw all the way and then we're going to adjust the wall bracket angle by using the included level. Hey. So 
now that we have the bracket on, it says the next step is to mark the bottom two anchor holes, drill a 3 16th hole in the two marked spots, and then insert the anchors until they're flush with the wall. So we got our two new anchors in, moving on to step five. It says to hang the bracket back on the top screw and tightly fasten all three screws. Place wall mount over the bracket and press until you see that it's fully touching the wall. Slide down the wall mount until you feel a click. So now that we have the wall mount attached to the wall, we're gonna move on to step six. And that says to peel the two tape backings holding the side that sticks out downward. Press the top until it clicks, making sure the cable is pressed in correctly. The cable cover should be vertically straight. Press firmly on the bottom of the cover to secure in place. So we're basically what we're doing is attaching our cable management to the wall. Your top part will just click into the part in front and then you'll have some 3 end taping below and you'll tape that securely to the wall. Make sure it goes straight down. All right, so we got step six all done. Once we got to the height that we liked, we put on the angle bracket, put in one more section and put in another angle bracket and then we put in the finishing piece. Uh, we did have a lot of excess cable. So what I did, I just wrapped it up. We had a little Velcro tie, put a little Velcro tie on it. So we're gonna move on to step seven, um, which says repeat the previous step, peeling adhesive and attaching cable covers to complete the installation of the six cable covers. So we're done with that. We're gonna move on to the next step, which is step eight. It says choose the correct elbow joint uh, so that it's positioned towards your outlet. Attach elbow joint to the bottom of the cable cover. Tuck cable inside and press firmly, making sure everything is centrally aligned. So we've done that. Moving on to step nine. Attach five horizontal uh, cable covers. Check that the cable cover is horizontally straight before pressing firmly uh, on the end of the cover. So that's assuming that your outlet is further down your wall, but ours is right here. So we don't have to do that. Moving on to step 10. Peel the adhesive strips from the back of the end cap. We've already done that. Moving on to step 11. It says snap the camera into the wall mount until you feel the click. Plug the power adapter into your outlet. Put your crit back in the correct place. So let's go ahead and move on to that step. Hey fam, as you can see, we have our Nanit Pro wall mount system complete. We have the crib back in place and it's actually the next day. We also have a special guest. If you guys have not met Sky Yvonne yet, meet Sky Yvonne. Um, as we said, she's transitioning into her crib. She slept there last night and probably had her best night yet. Um, she actually only woke up one time, so that was absolutely amazing. Let's talk about some of the features. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the features that the Nanit Pro system has that led us to choosing it over some of its competitors. And uh, the thing that will provide the most value for most people is probably its insights, which again, you get for one year for free by just purchasing your Nanit system. This will give you all of the sleep tracking history, including monitoring, highlight reels to see the entire night, movement map, sleep tips, save memories, amongst several other things. Through this history, Nanit learns your baby's habits and may provide some personalized tips from sleep pediatric experts. Some other cool things that the Nanit has include motion and sound alerts where you can adjust the sensitivity, background audio monitoring, which I think will actually utilize more. If I understand it correctly, you'll actually hear the uh, movements of the child or the child's cries as opposed to just getting a notification alert. I'm much more likely to wake up if I hear my child crying as opposed to just getting a ding or hear my phone vibrate. There's a music library, night light, two-way talking, and growth tracking. For the growth tracking, you have to utilize their special sheets, which is an additional cost. We're really excited about this Nanit Pro system and we plan on utilizing it for quite some time. Um, as we mentioned before, it is running off of Wi-Fi so there are bound to be some hiccups where you know it just goes in and out or it might be all for a while. Maybe the power went out for your house. So with that being said, we plan on continuing to utilize our normal handy dandy $20 audio monitor. Uh, we really plan on putting this Nanit Pro through its paces and at that point we'll circle back with a full review on our thoughts. We really hope also that you know this video Video was beneficial for you guys and that you guys enjoyed it please like share and subscribe and until next time be blessed